Welcome to the Been There Doing That podcast. I'm Robert Scrivener. And I'm Gayla Scrivener. We left the 9 to 5 grind, downsized, and our goal is to have freedom to live and to work from just about anywhere. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Been There Doing That podcast. It's going to be a good one. It is. Where are we at, Robert? We're in Hermitage, Missouri. And we're in the parking lot, so you might hear some background noise of vehicles, people. We are at the 32nd annual uh, Pumnitar Mountain Man Rendezvous. This is my first one. Well, good. How did you like it? Well, my first rendezvous for Palm de Terre. I yeah. loved it. We just finished. Um, we got here mm, a little bit after they started, I guess about an hour after yeah. they started. And it's filled up. It's a little after. Lots of people here. Yes. Last year, you and your friend Danny came, and um, it was rescheduled from this time of year, May, because of so much rain, it was flooded around Palm de Terre, and they rescheduled it to October. Yeah, and it wasn't bad then, but a lot of the vendors couldn't make it on the reschedule. So there's a ton of them here there on are. the proper time. Well, when you first get in, it's donation only. Admission is donation only. And um, we made our donation and came in, and they have an area of... of crafts arts and crafts that you walk through Mm -hmm. and it's in the campground near the dam and then you pass that and you go up to what's that area called the um the encampment the encampment thank you and that's where you have to be in period clothing and your tent has to be period to what period seven uh the fur trade area which 1800s to to 1840 ish Nothing Civil War. None of that. That's, None of that's that. too new. That's too new. <laughs> that's the Civil War yeah. reenactment. Yeah, that's this a is reenactment. this is a few years before. So you go up to the encampment and that's all you see. If you're going to do any trading there, you have to be in in period dress. Period dress. Your tent has to be period. Mm-hmm. Um folks have blankets that they lay out and trade and sell Traders things. Traders blankets. Mm-hmm. Yep. And what all did you see? I seen everything. You name it, I could probably see it. Well, I saw a stool sample. <laughs> you seen a stool sample. It was the cutest it, thing. You should have got one. Should have got one. I should have. But that I would didn't. make a good that, conversation piece. That too. That too. Uh, it would be a good gift for somebody in Christmas time. Yeah, maybe we should walk up there and I get one. We might have to. But you know... I, I guess people may wonder what that the stool sample really is, and I might have to explain. Well, let's go into detail about it. Okay. Well, you know the ships in a bottle? Mm-hmm. You know, that That's how they S-H-I-P-S. make... That's S-H-I-P-S. Yes. Like the naval ships. Yes. I guess that would be true since we're talking about a stool sample mm-hmm. and all. This is a clean show. I don't cuss. <laughs> I'm just wondering. Okay. Okay. Well, imagine this this little jar that's about, what, three inches high? Oh, if that. Yeah. And then it was kind of, oh, about two inches in. Maybe if that. An inch and a half half diameter. Well, then in that, they had a three-legged stool like you sit on, a miniature one. And that was a stool sample. Mm -hmm. I think it was so cute. Oh. Motorcycles going by. We got motorcycles. Let's pause for a moment. Okay. I think they found their parking spot. They might have not. They're not in period clothing. No. They just haven't fun. <laughs> and there we go. All right. Well, I thought it was a cute, cute thing. I didn't really get it at first until the guy kind of explained it to somebody else. And I, I'm just rather humored by it. Mm-hmm. The, what else did you see there? Oh, there's all kinds of animal pelts. Mm-hmm. We saw... Um, leather. 
Lots of leather, lots of canvas. wool and canvas. The Smell of black powder. Yeah, I took pictures of the cannon being shot, mm-hmm. but they didn't have a cannonball in they it. They had a French French artillery set up over there doing a, a cannon firing reenactment type thing. That guy that was explaining it was he kind of was humorous. Hilarious. Hilarious? He was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> he was hilarious. He was. For I a enjoyed guy it. in his 70s, he got around pretty good with his wits. With his wits. He, he had some, well, I'm sure he had some of the same jokes that he talks about all the time. They're funny to him. But they're funny to him, and <laughs> he might not remember them from yeah. time to time. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, well. That was okay. And you talked to this one guy named Mo? Named Mo. Tell me about Mo. You met Mo, him last year. I met him last year. Super nice guy. Uh, I think he's around 75, 6, 7, but he could be 60. I don't know. Never asked. Not polite. <laughs> so... Him, he he has a um, a black Labrador retriever that's named Boomer. Oh, and he was in there sleeping. But I met him last year. Super nice guy. He's all encouraging about getting younger folk into this type stuff. Mm-hmm. You talked to him today for a little while. Mm, last year I talked to him for about an hour. Seemed like just yeah. sat there and conversed. Very he's, friendly. He's from up around, uh, I think around Hillsboro area, Hillsboro, Missouri. Where's that at? St. Louis. Oh, okay. St. Okay. Louis. Played a gig there once. Well, he he was super nice, and he had a blanket out mm-hmm. with things, and you you happened to buy something. What yeah. did you buy? Um, it's kind of a haversack type uh, of uh, bag that he said. Uh, I think it was Bob Swain made with, made it several years ago. Who's Bob Swain? I don't know. Oh, okay. His name stuck with me. I have to do some research. So a haversack holds havers? Pretty much. Okay. Got all kinds of havers in there. Have this, have that. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like possible bag. It's possible I could have anything in there. Is that how come they have those names? Now you know where they get it. All right. I learn something new <laughs> every day. <laughs> That's why you're hanging around. Me. I guess so. Yeah. And then we ate at Crazy, Cra- Crazy Ladies Cafe. But there was no lady in there. There was no lady in there. Some guy with longer hair. He yeah. was cooking. And boy, he was been he. In a dress. I don't know. He wasn't. Okay. He he Quite was clever. Good. He was clever. He's, he was a character. Maybe Most snarky. <laughs> Maybe snarky is the word. I don't know. I liked him. And he wasn't quite ready to turn over for breakf- or for lunch. And he, he had some breakfast left. So we just I think had. He him. wanted to get rid of it. So we were the. Well, High bidders. Well, actually, just like whatever you have, just fix us. So he fixed us two burritos, breakfast, breakfast burrito, burritos, the biggest breakfast Huge. burritos I have ever we seen. We got pictures of it, so. Yes, but um, we already ate like three fourths of it by the time I yeah. thought Imagine to take that a picture. Times, you know, four times more. It was humongous, and what it had in it, I don't even know. It had cheese. It had eggs. It had potatoes. It had biscuits. Hash? It had gravies. It had biscuits in there. Yeah, mine did. Oh, I know. I had gravy. It had all the hash much, sausage. It had everything. Everything. I think it was a kitchen sink. Must have been. Whatever's he, left, scrape it up, put it in a tortilla, and call it a burrito. Mm-hmm. It was fantastic. Of course, we were starving, but it was fantastic. It was good. He was making cinnamon rolls and cookies, and cookies were fresh out of the oven. Two for one. And they were kind of thick. They must have had yeah. more baking powder in them than what we normally put in them. They were tall, tall cookies. Tall chocolate chip cookies, but fresh out of the oven and fantastic. Still warm. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, was, no, I, that was well worth it. Sat on the ground and had... Huge meal. When we could have sat right next to the other side and sat on a bench. Yeah, hindsight. Oh, well. Oh, well. Hindsight. <laughs> Did not know those seats were there. Yeah, we didn't go that far. No, not yet. Until after we ate. And several people commented on my hat. Yes, you walked in with your normal everyday hat. Mm-hmm. But then, on top of that, because it's pretty warm outside, you put on your coonskin hat. Mm-hmm. So that the ear flaps weren't on your ears. Yeah, it was a little flow-through ventilation. 
you're quite the character because almost everybody stopped you on the Did way in. Did you see that guy's hat? <laughs> I kept hearing that behind me. Who? <laughs> what is that? Coon skins? That's got to be at least three of them. It's a two. two it's a two skin. coon hat, sir. Two, two coon. <laughs> Lots of people stopped yeah. and commented, and then there were a lot of people whispering behind your yeah. back. That was you see that, but you're a character or yeah. a caricature. I should be a caricature. Somebody should draw you <laughs> a picture of me, an animated picture of me. Yeah, you you would make a good cartoon. Mm-hmm. I I can see it now. Somebody's car alarm's going off. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. <laughs> We're been in there. the parking lot. We're been there doing that. We're doing it right now. Yeah, that's right. Well, yeah. what else did you see there that was interesting that you never see anywhere else? Well, not that I don't see anywhere else. I do like the beadwork. Mm-hmm. Those are those those medallions. What are those called? Rosettes. Those rosettes. I like those a lot. Saw some hat bands and got ideas mm-hmm. on how to do beadwork. Yeah. I always like this. The blacksmith. Yep. Um, yeah, something about that I just enjoy. And we thought we there wasn't one there, but we finally saw him. So He was hiding around the corner. And we and walk- you can see them working right there. Yeah, I like it's, that. It's laboring right there. And mm, there was just... A lot of leather, a lot of furs, a lot of trinkets. Did you buy something? Oh, you bought something for your powder horn. Yeah, and you you got it somewhere. Yeah, it's another powder horn plug. Is what I got. Yeah, because yours broke. Well, it didn't have one. And you made one. And I made one. It's working so far. What did you make it out of? Piece of stick. Oh, okay. Stick off the ground. Stick off the ground. <laughs> Whittled it. Put some beeswax on it and a string around it and attack it at the end of it. Mm. Works. Works good. But you wanted another one just. To... I wanted one just to have a backup. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Oh, what else did we... Oh, we went and you started visiting with this this gentleman. Oh, I took a picture of his mascot. Mm. Did you see the mascot I before did. I, I did. Uh, took the picture? I was wondering what you was doing down there. Well, I was using our brand new camera. Yes, and how do you like it since this is the first day that you've used it? I, the first time I've used it. Well, the only way I know how to use it is on auto mode. And yeah. I don't think that we've had an episode yet to tell folks what our new camera is yes we have have we and if you didn't listen to that one shame on you oh maybe i just didn't listen to it i better rewind you better rewind (laughs) i do all the editing here now i know (laughs) i listened to it several times oh okay it is a fujifilm xt20 good deal fujifilm xt20 well i turn it on turned it on auto and away you went away i went and i think i got some good shots yeah and the we'll on, find out the only time i used the back excuse me the back viewfinder was to get that mascot which was a rattlesnake mm-hmm. a stuffed rattlesnake <laughs> coiled up with his fangs out and rattled. yeah yeah it was kind of cool looking and you got to talking with the gentleman and ended up that he was from Elorita Springs. That's where I graduated from high school. It's a small world. And we just live a little ways from there. Um, 18 miles. Mm-hmm. And I graduated high school. Well, his nephew is two years older than I am, but I... Went to the same school. Went to the same school and hung around with, with his nephew. So it is a small world. Of course, we're not that far from... Well, Alberta yeah. Springs, In fifty miles, yeah, ish. But it it's it's nice. I haven't you can make it there in a day's time with a jeep. <laughs> <laughs> a whole day's time yeah. in the jeep, yeah, or a horse. Well, if you go fast, yeah. <laughs> cart and buggy might take a while. Yeah. Any other interesting folks that you, that you saw? There was a ton of them. A ton of interesting folks. Didn't talk to them though, but. It looked interesting. What was your favorite part of today? Talking with Mo. I like Mo. Yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite part. He's a. I, he's not really a character. He just knows a lot. Well, he is a character, but he um, he's just really genuine and just a nice yeah, guy. Just a super nice guy. nice guy. His leggings are made out of um, flower sacks. Flower sacks, feed sacks, yeah, feed sacks, flower feed sacks. Mm -hmm. You don't, people don't, a lot of folks don't understand or know what feed sacks are. And 
I grew up just knowing about those because years ago, my grandma um, would go to grandpa, go with grandpa to the the feed store for their animal feed, and it was all the feed came in fabric bags, mm-hmm. and the fabric was printed. It wasn't just plain white uh, or plain mm, off white or brown. They came in a variety of prints and. That's how the women would get their fabric and they'd go with their husbands and they would pick how many of the same type of pattern that they wanted. So because they knew how many they needed to make a dress or what Mm -hmm. have you. My family, um, we have several quilts with a feed sack in them and the fabric that like my aunt and uncle and my mom those clothes that they wore growing up, they're now in a quilt. So well, there you go. I know. Make all... good leggings, too, for a rendezvous. I know. It's very hard nowadays to find um, uncut feed sacks, but um, got to keep your eye out yeah. for those because they don't make them anymore. They don't make them. It's like a 57 Chevy. They only made it one year. I know. Feed sacks are now like plastic, so no fun in no that. No fun. I don't want to wear a plastic dress. No. <laughs> no. No, I'm done. But you wore your your period dress. My regalia, as somebody called it. Yeah, you're not wearing a dress. But no, <laughs> I'm wearing a dress. And I, there was a comment of why I wasn't dressed up. And? You haven't made my outfit yet. Well, you got to pick out the stuff. Can't it be a surprise? Oh, I suppose it could. You wouldn't like it if I did it. Well, oh, you, might. you. Yourself. Purple lizard leather just probably wouldn't look good in period of time. No, I I can I can trust that you would not give me purple, purple lizard. lizard leather. That's hard to say. Well, that's why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else that we can talk about? We'll have links to the rendezvous. Do they have a website or is it just a Facebook page? Um, they're on Facebook, I believe. I found it off the um, rendezvous uh, private group on. Uh, or a group on Facebook. Yeah. I, and then I think they actually have a Pumnitar Rendezvous Facebook. I think it's well worth anybody uh, that's listening for a visit. It, there, it's usually the first weekend in May. I I think next year it's on the 4th and 5th, and this year was on the 5th and 6th. Okay, so it, I, I believe it falls on the first mm-hmm. weekend of May every year at... Um, right here at the dam. At the dam, Palm de Tar, Hermitage, Missouri. Yeah, Palm de Tar is. No, what is it? Potato. Really? Yeah, it's a potato lake. Why? You ask me, I don't know. I'm just telling you what Palm de Tar is in, in French. Is it? Is <laughs> that French? Or are you are just you making questioning things, me? <laughs> yeah, are you just making things up? I Might as well. make things up. That means potato. It's potato. Okay. Not tater. Potato. Yeah. Pomme de tar. Don't laugh at me. So it's it's Tater Lake. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Well, uh-huh. I have lived here, close to here, of course. Leave you it. haven't lived here all your life because you're still living. That's true. There you go. There we go. Well, I guess that's about it. About, you know, we'll have pictures on our website. This is the Potato Lake Rendezvous. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Oh, uh, we'll stick with it anyway. We'll stick with it. I that's how what I'll name the what I'll name the uh, yeah. podcast. Potato mm. Lake Rendezvous. People will say, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'll Wrap do that. it up, Gala. Well, thank you for joining us for this quick episode here of Been There Doing That Podcast. Live and from the parking lot. Exactly. With sound effects and everything in the background. Where can they find us at? We'd love for you to join us on our website and peruse around at beentheredoingthat.com. Where can they find us on Facebook? Been There Doing That. Instagram? Been There Doing That. You are always on Instagram, That's so right. you do things that... You can look for pictures on Instagram from this place. Exactly. And you'll see a lot of different things where we're at, but that's where we post most of the time is I like Instagram. Mm-hmm. So catch us there, and until next time, toodaloo.